Hey, it's Clyde, and I'm here to cut my um, Lily Koi passion fruit soap. I love showing you just the color of the the green and the lavender and purple. That green came out um, just great. And I've made this before, and I um, remembered to make the green a little stronger. It was real subtle before, but this. I really like this color green and purple together. And it smells awesome. I just did a kind of spiraling swirl on the top and alternated drop swirls with white for the main pour. And the white sort of disappeared because I didn't make it a pure white. Remember that the um, fragrance is very uh, yellowing. So I think what happened was that it turned to cream and it blended with the green pretty well. And you can still notice there's some light swirls with the green. But it's all real subtle. And it's cutting very well. I really heated up, heat up. And I was worried because um, I didn't want there to be that dark patch in the middle just in case it partially gelled. But I don't see that. And to me, um, to me, the success of my soap designs is if it matches the scent and also looks good. And I really think that this matches the scent of passion fruit. My parents were both both born and raised in Hawaii, and I remember as a kid that. Um, my aunts used to make orange juice with a touch of lily koi in it. And it's really a strong taste, so just that little bit um, made the orange juice a little more unique. Never forgot that. My last cut. And there you go. Both sides of it. Kind of looks like a tulip shape. So this is um, passion fruit or lily koi. Um, I'm calling it lily koi on my website. And it is... Um, all done. I'll just trim it up and post that at the end of this uh, video. Thanks for watching. This is Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and I'll see you soon.